My name is Jürgen Köhler, I'm a keyboard player from Frankfurt, Germany and today we're going to talk about building a wobble bass on the core Kronos. You may remember uh, when Alex Claire released Too Close and this fantastic wobble sound in the chorus um, made you shiver like uh, wow what's that yeah. So even in dubstep and other music uh, wobble bass is really useful and we're gonna build one today on our own. So we start with a sound with a factory preset called Fifth World A Step from the Kronos factory sounds. You find this program uh, in the internal memory C number 94 and it sounds like that. So to get this wobble effect uh, we need to modulate the sound with the low frequency oscillator. So for the first engine, the first poly 6 of the two we use, uh, we go to the modulation and we change the modulation from the velocity to the LFO1. And we even change the parameters over there. bit more cutoff and less gain and now we go to the rider LFO and we change the low frequency it's like that right now to scene curve and change the frequency from 70 to let's say 44 and a fine tuning of 22 now the first engine is wobbling Okay, we need to do the same thing with the second Poly 6 engine. We go to the second engine, we go to modulation and we change the modulation to LFO1. And we go to LFO1 and we change the, to the same things over there to scene and the frequency is 44 as well. And 22 cents fine tuning. Now it's like that. So it's a bit like a bubbling bass. If we want to control the frequency with the vector joystick, um, we need to tell the Kronos that we want to do this. So we go to the common parameters and to the vector control. And let's say that the X axis is changing the LFO1 speed. Let's put it down there. Pitch LFO1 speed. That's it. And now we can control the speed of the LFO with the vector joystick. That's what I did in the intro. So that's nearly all, so we just want to change the sound a bit. So the first the first Poly 6 uh, needs less cutoff and less resonance and we change the VCO octave to that and the second Bit less cutoff and less resonance. So now it's like that. So the final thing we can do to have the sound, we change the detune to a minimum, let's say let for three cents. And now the sound is like that. Thank you. 
And if we want to play with a drum track like I did in the intro, uh, we need to change the beats per minute for this program. Let's say 72. And if you start the drum track and play. All right, so have fun building your own wobble sound with ideas like that and um, see you for the next tutorial. Bye bye.